Hurricane Fiona strengthening into a powerful Category 4 storm, now marching north toward Bermuda, packing winds of 130 miles an hour and leaving a trail of destruction battering the Turks and Caicos Islands, rolling through the Dominican Republic and causing what Puerto Rico's governor described as catastrophic damage. FEMA saying it's sending hundreds of additional aid workers to the U.S. territory, including two search and rescue teams. We pre-deployed many FEMA resources well in advance of the storm last week to ensure that we can continue to coordinate with our partners on the ground to ensure a seamless response and recovery process. And overnight, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services declaring a public health emergency on Puerto Rico. The hurricane killing at least four people on that island. Fiona's damage surveyed from Coast Guard rescue helicopters. Entire neighborhoods are still underwater, homes uninhabitable. Crews continue rushing to restore power after more than a million Puerto Ricans were left in the dark by the storm. Hundreds of thousands are also without clean drinking water as the island braces for high temperatures today. Puerto Rican officials saying yesterday they're confident most people will see power restored soon. Officials say they're also tracking several other systems churning in the Atlantic right now, one of which is Tropical Storm Gaston, which isn't expected to hit any landmass. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.